By the end of this video, I'm gonna save you money. I'm gonna save you time to find the best thickening product for you. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is man for himself. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then chances are you are going to love it around here. Yes, you are. Okay, fully into this, episode four of my hair products guide series, hair products guide series. Last week we spoke about sea salt sprays and finding the best sea salt spray for your budget and for your hair type. And sticking with this sort of pre-styling phase, I'm gonna talk about thickening products. Really, the best product to make your hair look thicker and fuller. Now, I should say, I'm really focusing on pre-styling here because I think if you want thicker and fuller hair, it has to start at the start. Don't worry too much about the styling product. I will get into that later in this series, talking about the different ingredients to look for. But the biggest results that I've seen in my hair, and I should say cosmetic results, stuff that is gonna uh, work instantly in your hair, and then when you wash it out, your hair will look as it, as it did. If you're looking for more um, extreme measures, there are shampoos, there are conditioners. I've spoken about them before on manfromself.com and also on here. And also if you are balding or you're really severely thinning, I have more on that. I will link those all down below. But these are products that are like instant gratification, products that are gonna instantly work and instantly make your hair look better. And I've had quite the journey and quite the experience experiment our products. Um, yeah, because my hair is really fine, so I need to boost it. So I've got five here, one, two, three, four, five, yes, five here that are gonna help you find the best one for you. Okay, hair gels are a big no if you've got fine hair because hair gels are really gonna kind of cement the hair. They're not gonna allow it to naturally move. They're also gonna make the hair look more fine the way that they dry so you can see into the scalp. However, thickening gels are good. We say yes to those. This one by Nioxin, Nioxin Thickening Gel. This is around about the 12 pound mark. I will link absolutely everything down below in the description. Um, but this is good for giving the hair just an instant uh, weightless volume um, and thickening effect. It comes out like a gel, as you'd expect. Get it into damp hair and just get it all the way in. You really wanna be massaging it into the hair root to tip. Then get a hair dryer low sort of heat, low to medium heat, I always do this, low to medium heat and start to work that hair dryer um, in and up. What this is gonna do is it's gonna wrap the hair and it's gonna make the diameter of the hair look bigger. And um, the reason this is in the top five is I think this is really great at thickening but also smoothing. So thickening and smoothing. So if your hair is coarse, it's frizzy, but it's also quite thin, um, then this could be the one for you. Although if your hair is coarse, it tends not to be thin, but we're all different and we're all very unique. So if that's you, this could be the one for you. Um, you tend to get more of these sort of thickening sprays. And that's where I think the sort of heartland of thickening products is. And where I would say to focus your efforts and your mind and your money, um, right there. The best sort of budget one that I've got for you is this one by Label M. This is Label M Thickening Tonic. One of the first ever thickening products I used um, my journey on YouTube, I hate the word journey, it's so wank. My experience on YouTube started with really sort of fine hair, being very conscious of it, being conscious that you uh, at home could see into my scalp, so I did things to disguise it. Um, I could never shoot with light coming straight into my hair because I could see that. Um, and this was one of the products that I got sent by a PR and I tried it and I really, really liked it. It instantly wraps the hair, it adds volume, it adds root lift. In terms of this compared to the other ones, it is slightly more drying. Um, I tend to say, and I said this for the sea salt sprays video last week, generalizing, but the cheaper the product, the less that it has in, in, in terms of like the good conditioning agents. But this is still a fantastic product, um, and I definitely would recommend this. Spritz, spritz, spritz into the hair and start to boost it. If you're just starting out or you're wanting to really be careful of budget, then go for this one, seriously, really very good. Now scaling it up, and it was the next product that I really got, and this is Aveda 
thickening tonic, a product which is in the man from himself holy grail, and a product which was quite often in my, actually it was for years, my most used hair products. I still love this, I still come back to this. This is empty-ish. Um, but the great thing about this, and why this is part of this, is the ingredients. Aveda are a fantastic brand who really do invest in good ingredients, sustainable ingredients, um, and ingredients that are good for your hair. It smells amazing, it works amazing, it is amazing. Again, weightless volume. There's more of these sort of natural conditioning agents. That one can sometimes feel a little rough in the hair. Still great, still great, let's get that clear. Um, but this one does tend to smooth the hair slightly more. And um, the difference between a gel and the difference between a spray, gel, I would say, tends to um, create sort of thickening in more of a, like a, a set of hair, like it's more like a structure. Whereas thickening sprays, I tend to think of as more for each individual strand. So if you are gonna go on to do um, a quiff, that was quite sore, a quiff, or you wanna just have loads and loads of volume in the hair, then thickening sprays are fantastic. This is around about the 18 pound mark, uh, $23, I think. Everything is on manfromself.com and link down below. But Aveda, fantastic solid brand. Um, and just really, really good products. They actually do have a, a grooming clay, which is also good for thickening. But as I say, we will get into that when I get into the clays and, and the hair products. Um, another one which is the most expensive of the lot, well, of these sprays, is Bumble and Bumble Go Big Thickening Treatment. Um, this one compared to this one. Ooh, hello. Uh, this one compared to this one. Uh, this is bigger on the volume, so you're gonna get bigger hair whereas this one is more natural um, and it's gonna give you a more sort of, a more natural look, a more just like, hey, I've got great thick hair, whereas this one is gonna give you big, voluminous, bouncy hair. They're both really fantastic, slightly more expensive. Uh, Bumble and Bumble go big uh, thickening treatment, part of their thickening range. I really like, I think it's good. I think it does what it's supposed to. Um, doesn't smell anything amazing, just smells like, normal hair product, whereas that one smells really, really good. So it's really up to you guys. What I would say is, um, again, check them out on manfromself.com and you can kind of put them side by side and see which one's the best for you, your budget, maybe even where you live. The final product I've got in this thickening pre-style is a bit of a mixture of all of these. I'd call this a serum, so it's quite thick. It's not quite as thick as a gel, but it's certainly thicker than a spray. And this is Nioxin Dia Boost. I think this is a really, really great product. Sometimes when I use this, my hair actually feels too thick. Um, and that's a bit of a statement there. Um, really great if your hair is really, really fine or really, really thinning. This quite literally plumps and wraps the hair. It's like putting bubble wrap around the hair. It makes it feel so much bigger. Um, this has got what they call, I mean, all of these sort of technologies, I'm just a bit like, mm, HTX technology, but really, again, this is about taking the diameter of the hair. Um, it pumps out into this sort of serum sort of liquid, get it into the hands, work it straight through, root to tip, and it's just gonna wrap the hair. With all of these products, they are activated with a hair dryer. A hair dryer is really gonna speed up that process of the thickening. It tends to cause a reaction in the product, which is then gonna sort of wrap the hair, boost the hair, volumize the hair. I really, really like this. Um, there are certain deals on at the moment, so I'll find the best prices, but it tends to be around the 30 pound mark, so it's certainly not cheap, but you don't need a lot. It's 100 mils in here. You just need one pump, maybe even two, massage straight through the hair and go. But these are fantastic, very well deserved into my top five products. As I say, I have tested so many. If you've got fine, thin hair, tend to stay away from anything sea salt spray or anything drying, unless you're gonna mix them. So take maybe one of these and then put a sea salt spray over the top. Um, mousses are good, but more for the volume. We're gonna be getting into those a bit later. But thickening sprays and the thickening gels are your friend. Also, from one fine-haired person to another or a thin-haired person, hang on in there. Honestly, I know hair is so important. It's your crowning glory. It feels good when it looks good, but there are products here to help. And also the problems pages on manfromself.com has got stuff about hair transplants, if you are at that point. And um, also things like finasteride, minoxidil, that's kind of gonna be your home hub there. But thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have and you've still not pressed subscribe, then hey, come on. I've done all this work for you, please do. 
hit subscribe right now seriously the button is just there so also more video suggestions down there stay with me and watch them i'll head you to the thickening um, on manfromstuff.com there and the full series for the hair products guide up there but until my next new video bye bye